I'm your number one fan. There is nothing to worry about. You're gonna be just fine. I'll take good care of you. I'm your number one fan. With a certain level of fame comes a certain level of crazed fans. Now, most of us have a celebrity that we would absolutely lose it if we saw them on the street, but some people just take it a little too far. Justin Bieber is no stranger to this. Back in 2013, a fan jumped on stage and pushed his dancers out of the way, doing whatever it took to get to the Biebs. Thankfully, the fan was stopped in their tracks by security and escorted off the stage. Taylor Swift and Britney Spears are both victims of their fans ambushing the stage during their performances. Beyonce's fan encounter definitely takes the cake, with a fan in Brazil nearly dragging her across the stage. to tell you that uh, we got your tickets for the gig. <laughs> He's on fire! The Suns led this series two games to none. Doncic three. Even though it can be easy to forget that celebrities are people too, like most of us, sometimes they simply lose their cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're so cool. Ever wondered what makes your fan spin and create a cool breeze during hot summers? Well, the answer lies in the concept of electromagnetism. The electric fan has two major components, the motor and the blades. The motor is responsible for converting electrical energy into mechanical energy, which makes the blade spin and creates the airflow. Now let's take a closer look at the motor. The motor consists of two main parts, the stator and the rotor. The stator is a stationary part of the motor that contains the electromagnets, while the rotor is the rotating part that consists of the fan blades. When we switch on the fan, an electric current flows through the stator windings, creating a magnetic field. This magnetic field then interacts with the rotor, causing it to spin. The fan speed can be controlled by changing the voltage of the electric current that flows through the stator. A higher voltage will result in a faster spinning rotor, while a lower voltage will result in a slower spinning rotor. Finally, the blades are designed in a way that they push air forward as they spin, creating a cooling effect. The air is pulled in through the back of the fan and pushed out through the front, creating a constant flow of air. So, that's how an electric fan works. Next time you switch on your fan, you'll know exactly what's happening inside. After all, I am your biggest fan. Turned out of the death of a fan at the Patriots game on Sunday night following a fight in the stands. The incident is under investigation. Will Reeves at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts with the latest. Good morning, Will.
Good morning, George. It was late in the game here on Sunday night. A confrontation between fans all caught on video. It went from unfortunate to tragic. 